Hello everyone. I am Sayan Biswas, working professional at Visa Worldwide Private Limited from Singapore. Today I am going to present stock price prediction using bidirectional LSTM with attention as an independent and individual presenter. My paper ID is 157078254. Today's content of the presentation divided into multiple segments which are research statement I will state the research problem solving here objectives here i will state the core objective of the project introduction in introduction we will introduce the problem in more details methodology here i will share the research methodology model which i used to solve the problem result analysis here i will demonstrate results or we can say the outcome of the experiment with comparison analysis conclusion finally the conclusion of the research analysis The stock market refers to public market that exists for issuing, buying, and selling stocks that trade on stock exchange. We know that stock market is fluctuating and volatile. It is extent to which the buying or selling moves the price against the buyer or seller. That is upward when buying and downward when selling. It has a great impact on the economy. Modeling of stock market is always very challenging. That is why I identify this problem to work on it. Machine learning, especially deep learning, has been employed successfully in many demanding fields such as medicine, computer vision, natural language processing, time series prediction, etc. Here today, I try to apply deep learning to improve stock price prediction paradigm. In this experiment. I plan to test different recurrent neural network that is RNN architecture for stock price prediction. Detailed of RNN architecture I mentioned in the methodology section. Also I will demonstrate model performance improvement with attention mechanism which is very well known mechanism in deep learning. In this experiment I used robust augmentation method. This is a technique to improve the data quality at various variation to the data or we can say noise to the data so that model knows many ways to interpret the incoming data. Also make sure this model as much as possible robust against various noise or changes or variance of data. Finally, I plan to achieve state of the art mean absolute error that is MAE, mean squared error that is MSE and mean gamma deviance which is a different kind of measurement of losses error rates while optimizing the number of parameters in the neural network. Basically, I focus two parts of in this experiment. Firstly, I try to minimize in my model as much as possible. And secondly, while minimizing the error also want to optimize the parameter of the neural network to make it simple. A stock market is the aggregation of buyer and seller of stocks. It has opening prices and closing prices. It can model it by time series data. So that each time point there is a value of the opening or closing prices. Usually stock market related machine learning model use closing prices of the stock for modeling purposes. But there has no such hard and fast rule to use the same. It can be used other way around as well. But there, in my experiment, I used closing price for stock price prediction model. For time series forecasting, RNN based model had been used extensively. So RNN is very useful for time series prediction because they have recurrent links in their network design. It is kind of unfold. So we can go back few series or few steps back so that what was the before time steps is basically works like a memory mechanism. In the picture, you can see there have a time t, then t minus 1, and then this is a t minus 2. Based on this understanding, we can say that RNN model have built in memory and it is useful for learning from the past stock price for robust and better future prediction. This is a methodology data portion of my experiment. In this work, I used Yahoo Finance API data for most influential 10 tickets from NASDAQ. Those 10 tickets are Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, Microsoft, Tesla, CSCO, Costco Wholesale Corporation, and last but not least, FB that is a meta platform. 
As I said, I used closing price range in my entire modeling. Data range I had taken from 13th March 1986 to 5th of November 2021. So this is very long range data set considered for my whole experiment. Though this is very challenging, most of the cases we saw that prediction considered 5 to 10 years data. Purpose to take that much of range to make that model as much as possible robust and build up confidence that the model is much better than the other models. This is a methodology how RNN works in the model. RNN is a recurrent neural network. There are multiple variations of RNN. First one is a gated recurrent neural network that is a GRU. Another one is a long short term memory that is LSTM. LSTM and GRU were created as the solution of the short term memory. They have internal mechanism called gates that can regulate the flow of the information. These gates can be learned which data is in a sequence is important to keep or throw away. By doing that, it can pass relevant information down the long chain of the sequence to make the prediction. Almost all state of the art result based on the recurrent neural network are achieved with these two networks. Last one is a bidirectional RNN. To enable straight that is a past and reverse traversal of input that is a future, bidirectional RNN or BRNN are used. A BRNN is a combination of two RNN. One RNN moves forward beginning from start of the data sequence and the other moves backward beginning from the end of the data sequence. The network blocks in a BRNN can either be a simple RNN, GRU or can be a LSTM. In psychology, attention is the cognitive process of selective concentrating on one or few things while ignoring others. Or we can say that it is a mechanism combined in the RNN allowing it to concentrate on the selective parts of the input sequence when predicting a certain part of the output sequence. Combination of attention mechanism enabled improved performance in many tasks, making it integral part of the modern RNN network. In this paper, I use Vadanu's additive self-attention. Below you can see the equation of the attention. Here you can see the softmax and the score of the different two input state and time series portion. From that you can get the context factor and from the context factor, the time input you can get the attention vector by applying tan and the multiplication of weights. Finally, you get the score which you can get the attention values of the time series. This is the actual network architecture I used in this experimental model. I used bidirectional LSTM with attention. This is the model you can see in this picture. We all know that noise always plays significant role in the stock market. For that context, I used here Gaussian noise vector for augmentation process. What does happen basically, Gaussian noise vector is types of noise vector and it is added to the data and there is another branch of network which learns noise version of the input data. You can see the stock price graph, there are lots of noise over it. Another branch of the network learns the data so that it more robust against the small noises. Here we did not use any dropouts. As we know that dropout is a technique where you can turn off some neuron in the neural network. To ensure my experimental model as much as possible utilize 100% of the network for that reason I choose Gaussian noise vector over dropouts to better deal at that noise as per my experiment. This is my proposed approach model for this paper. In this picture you can see I took 100 days data from input and there is a bidirectional LSTM with 64 units, another bidirectional LSTM with another 64 units. Here you can see the noise version of the input that augmented through the Gaussian noise vector layer with sigma of 0.05 and then did another similar two version of bidirectional LSTM with 64 units. Finally, I did addition and then attention layer which I already discussed in the previous slide. Finally, they have a fully connected neural network which help to predict the normalized stock price. 
It is a small network because I focus to minimize the network parameters, but it is a very useful with a good accuracy. Here is the result analysis part. You can see mean squared error in 8 datasets out of 10. My model performance is better. In this table, there have a random ticker with GRU LSTM, bidirectional GRU, bidirectional LSTM, and last my experimental model, that is a bidirectional LSTM with attention comparison results. This is very clear that my experimental model almost all the tickers showing best performance to compare with the other models. Here I shown the comparative visualization of MAC that is a mean squared error, MAE that is mean absolute error, MGD that is mean gamma deviance on Tesla. Here I choose Tesla because in the result table you can see our model not achieved best result so that I can prove our model is non-biased as well where we did not achieve best performance still explain my model superiority in terms of the metrics. Even though MAC is not the top perform in my model than GRU for the Tesla but if you consider as a whole this experimental model, my experimental model is way better than the other model in terms of calculating MAE and MGD than GRU. Based on this analysis can say this model is well on diverse set of data and metrics. Here is the comparison parameter of different models. Here you can see my experimental model parameters are way better than the other model where we consider GRU is the baseline model. Our optimization factor is 41 which is really very good. We are about to optimize our model by 41 factors than the other model. So this is a pretty good result in my experiment. Finally, below are the conclusive outcome from my experiment. Here I improved the RNN architecture design while reducing number of parameters. Fast inference compared to the baseline model. Noise vector approach is more useful than the dropouts. Achieved much better score than the baseline RNN models. That's all about stock price prediction using bidirectional LSTM with attention. Thank you.